Good morning from Trinity Episcopal Church. Today is Monday. It is June the 15th, and I hope that today finds you well. Today is a day that has been set aside to honor a woman whose name is Evelyn Underhill. Evelyn Underhill was a theologian and a mystic. She was born in uh, 1875 and grew up in London. She had a very interesting friends. So one of her friends was Lawrence Hausman, who was a poet, but he was also the brother of the more well-known poet, A.E. Hausman. She was also a friend of Sarah Bernhardt, the actress, and um, Baron er uh, Friedrich von Heugel, uh, who was a writer uh, in theology and mysticism. And it was largely through his influence and under his guidance that Evelyn Underhill embarked on a, a life of reading, writing, meditation, and prayer. And from her studies, her readings, and the experience that she had throughout her life, she produced a whole series of books on contemplative prayer. Uh, Evelyn Underhill was married. She was married to a man named Herbert Stuart Moore. And um, her primary teachings were that the life of contemplative prayer is not just confined to monks and to nuns, but can be a part of the life of any Christian who's willing to undertake contemplative prayer. She also taught that modern psychological theory far from being a threat to contemplation, can actually be fruitfully used to enhance it. In her later years, she spent a great deal of her time as a lecturer and as a retreat director. Evelyn Underhill died on this day, June 15th, in 1941. So let's say a prayer that calls it our attention to the work and life of Evelyn Underhill. Let us pray. O God, origin, sustainer, and end of all creatures, grant that your church, taught by your servant Evelyn Underhill, may continually offer to you all glory and thanksgiving and attain with your saints to the blessed hope of everlasting life, which you have promised us, promised us by our Savior Jesus Christ, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. Amen. As is our usual custom on Monday, Monday mornings, uh, this morning we are going to pray through the Trinity prayer list. And before we do that, let me offer a prayer from the Book of Common Prayer. It's the prayer for the human family. O God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your Son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love. And work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth. That in your good time all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So now let us pray for all those who are on Trinity's prayer list. Starting with James J. Jordan, Beverly Ann St. Louis, Leslie Ferrari, Father Bill Anderson, Mary Farmer, Sharon P. Wells, Dominic Vesuvio, Jane Anderson, the Grusel family, Michael Rudman, Lou Story, the Webster family, Jennifer Noel, Rachel Honus Hawk, the Noel family, the family of George Grant, 
Lorraine Barkell, The Smith Family, Jessica Marquez, Ed Brown, Eric Fry, Naomi Livingston and family, Yvonne Hollis and family, Karen Morillac, the Reverend Linda Boyd, Vince Vesuvio, Melissa Benko, Barrett Law, Mary Davis, Betsy McMillian, Judy Miller and family, Jake Cortez and family, Suzanne Nimmo, Pat Borden, Nancy Lowers, Elwin Quirk and family, Ralph Evans and Evanson and family, Nelcha Brewster, Amanda Freeland, Noreen Johnson Adkinson, Stephen Kaufman, Amy Kaufman, Stephanie Kaufman, Caitlin Delina, Bailey Oaks, Benjamin Delina, Sonia Schmitz, Valerie McGuire, the Nemo family, Kathy Gobblersh, Netta Hodges Moses, Karen Otto, Amy Turner, Christian Greist, Kyle Yoder, Val McGuire, Pat Kaufman, John Nyalt, Sue Peterson Monday, Sharon Weaver Knowles, Jane Blakely, Laura McClung, Sharon Erdman and family. And let us also pray this morning for those who are working on the front lines during this time of the COVID-19 outbreak. These are people who are out working as, as we are social distancing and staying inside. And we give thanks for their wonderful service that they are rendering to the rest of us. So we ask prayers of protection and thanksgiving for Michelle Euler, Vic Nimmo, Joey Lopez, Kendall Law, <clears throat> Robin, Robin Watson, Amelia Batat, Adam Batat, Sarah Faulkner, Anna Bailey, Caitlin Delina, Ben Delina, Melanie Hedrick, Caitlin Brown, Joseph Clementry, Carl Lancaster III, Victor Lancaster, Brittany Dixon, Aidan Shea, Mike Wright, Beverly Ann St. Louis, Brandy Bartos, Jimmy Cheek, Mark Vesuvio, Brian Watson, Josh Batot, Sarah Helmesy, Tori Alexander, Catherine Reinheimer, Michelle Hobson, Barrett Law, Jennifer Noel, Kai Shea, Amy Jordan, Victoria Lancaster, Becca Workman, Mike Fields, and Allison Wren. So, today and throughout this week, I hope you will say a prayer for those folks, both who are both those who are suffering in body, mind, or spirit, and also those who are for whom we give our whole thanks for being out there working to protect us and to provide us with the services that we need while we are while we are confined. And now I hope that you have a wonderful day. I hope that you are well, that this finds you well, and that you are safe. I hope that tomorrow you will join me again at 8.30. Uh, Mother Anne is taking a few days off, a well-deserved rest. So I will be with you again tomorrow morning, and I hope you will join me at 8.30. I hope you will also join uh, Chris Paul and Brother Les Roberts each evening at 8.30 for Compline. 
And now walk in love, go in peace, serve the Lord and one another. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Have a wonderful day.